My name is Grace. If you're new here, it is Wednesday. We're half, well, we shouldn't say we're halfway through because we didn't even go to work yet. But I feel like when I get home from work, I'm halfway through the week. I bought a new computer yesterday to pick up today from Best Buy because the recycling people are outside, so it might be a little loud. But editing has been such a biatch on my computer because it's so slow and I fully attribute that to the bar exam ruining my computer I just think the software on that was like crazy and ever since I took it my computer's just gone to crap the battery sucks nothing loads final cut is so slow and it never used to be like that but also my computer's pretty old so I ordered a new one with like a higher I don't know guys like I know nothing about computers but like bigger memory and stuff so I'm going to pick that up after work today, which I'm excited about because it'll make editing a lot easier. And um, that's pretty much it. I don't have any closings today or anything. If you guys are new here, I work in real estate law in New York. So yeah, I don't have any closings. So I'm just going to be at the office, which is nice. I've had closings all week so far and then closings the rest of the week. So it feels good. But I just got ready. I have no clue what to wear today. I didn't pick out my outfit last night as I usually do, so we'll have to pick that out together. But today's video is sponsored by Thread Up, and that's a perfect partnership for today because I don't know what to wear. And if you actually watched my vlog, not the one before this, but the one before that, I wore like all of my outfits I got from Thread Up that week. So you guys know, like I really do love it because I wear it all the time. So you should stay tuned if you want to get a special discount for your first order from Thread Up. So if you don't know what Thread Up is, it's like an online thrift store almost, and you can thrift women's clothes, kids' clothes, and brands like Free People. Um, what else did I get? Cupcakes and Cashmere, which I'm like obsessed with. Aqua. And then you can also thrift clothes from like American Eagle and other brands like that. So they really have a full range of options. And there's over 40,000 brands with new clothes every single day. If you want to get an extra 30% off your first order with ThreadUp, make sure you check out the link in my description and use the code GRACE for your 30% off. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. I'm just going to show you some of the items I got and I'll do an overlay of me actually trying them on and the prices. But I got this shirt from the brand called Tramp, which I wore two weeks ago to work and I'm obsessed. I got a million compliments. Love it. This shirt is from Cupcakes and Cashmere, which is a brand that I've heard of but never purchased. It was just like a little bit expensive. And I got this and I'm obsessed. How cute are the colors and the sleeves? It's perfect for spring and work. And it has buttons all down the back. Then I got this shirt from Mon... I think it's called, pronounced Montau, Monteau. It's like a chartreuse tank top, which will be really nice for summer to wear with a little cardigan or even a blazer. I got this shirt from Aqua, which is a peplum style shirt. Again, really good for work because you can just wear these kind of tops with a blazer or a cardigan and a nice necklace and you just look like you have it all together, even though it's just a really simple basic. And that's how I like to style most of my outfits. Then I got two pairs of pants. The first one is from J. Crew, and you guys know I love my J. Crew pants. 
These are perfect statement pants, which are always a good staple for your closet because if you can match the pants to like four different colored shirts. I have another pair of pants from J. Crew, which these are more for winter because they're like a thicker wool material, but that'll be really good for when it's freezing cold out and I'm like walking to a closing or something. But I do love my J. Crew pants, you know that, but J. Crew pants can get pretty pricey. Then for like my favorite purchases are these dresses. This one is from Octavia. And it's a high-low dress. It's a little bit sheer on top, but once you have it on, you really can't see anything. And it's lined on the bottom. Obsessed with this dress. I've worn it like three times since I've gotten it. Another cupcakes and cashmere item. This maroon floral print dress, which I love. It's really appropriate length for work. I found that cupcakes and cashmere, everything seems to be like an appropriate length or style. The last dress, the brand is covered up, so I'll have it on the screen but it's this black floral dress with a nice stretchy waistband and it's like a silky material. Really nice for work. I love my black clothing, you guys know that. So this dress is really perfect and it's soft, it's lined so it's not sheer or anything and it's a good length so if you bend over, you don't have to worry about showing anything. And ThreadUp is going to be my new go-to place to order clothes from because as I'm always talking about, I feel like I have no clothes for work and then I'll have no clothes for going out or just like my regular life. I feel like I have to have two completely separate wardrobes and I certainly don't want to be dropping thousands of dollars to complete these wardrobes. So it's nice to have something like Thread Up where I can get really nice name brand clothes, great quality and spend like $16 on a dress or $10 on a shirt. Like everything is so, so affordable. You can spend more on there. They have like really they have really high-end clothes, then they have mid-range, and then like lower range clothes. So again, if you want an additional 30% off your first order with ThreadUp, make sure you use the code GRACE at checkout, and you can use the link below. Go check it out. I swear you won't be disappointed. I'm obsessed. And also, I really suggest clicking on the Revive section because that's where they have a little bit of higher-end options, and they're extremely, extremely well-priced. Like better than anywhere else you're gonna find clothes pre-loved on the internet, I swear. So thank you so much to Thread Up for sponsoring this video and let's go pick out an outfit for today because it's 7.40 and I have to get gas, which is the bane of my existence. So I do have to leave shortly. All right, so this is the dress that I chose today. I love this one because I just love when dresses are like actually long. So I definitely don't have to worry about the length, but obsessed with this. I mean, perfect for summer. And these shoes are from Amazon. So we're just a bargain queen today. I just really don't know what to do about shoes in the summer because I don't love wearing heels every day because I'm already so tall. But I definitely don't want to wear loafers all every day in the summer because your feet get like really sweaty, you know. So I just need to find like more work sort of sandals because these are just really casual I don't love them for work but I just am fresh out of options and it's supposed to be 90 degrees today so but I am bringing leftovers for lunch today I'm having sushi and I'm gonna bring my laptop in case I get a little break to do some stuff and I have to make an iced coffee to go and that's my last thing and then I really need to leave so I can get gas And I'm also gonna bring one of these Premier Protein Shakes. I usually have them just at work so I don't have to bring them every day, but I'm fresh out. And I've just been getting really hungry in the morning and I haven't had anything at work. But at least it's gonna be a nice day. It's Wednesday. I'm getting a new computer. Let's look for the positives because yesterday I had not a bad day, it wasn't bad, but I was just very anxious all day, like the entire day. So I'm hoping today's better. Hey guys, so it's now 
6.30 after work. I'm just sitting outside Best Buy waiting for my laptop. 20 minutes, um, I guess. I don't know. Interesting how they have really developed this pickup system outside stores. Like, why haven't we had this forever? This is so convenient. Especially when you know exactly what you want. Like, I never really wander around Best Buy thinking, what the hell should I buy in Best Buy? No, you just know what you want. So, good thinking. I feel like all stores have this now, but why didn't we have it before? Then I'm going to go home. I have to finish editing a video and do some other work. I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. But we have uh, no food at home. We just have some leftovers, which honestly don't sound appetizing whatsoever. There's a Trader Joe's over here, but like I really don't want to walk around Trader Joe's. I might just have like leftover pasta from a few nights ago or something because I really don't want to walk around Trader Joe's. Like I'm starving and I also don't really want to leave my computer in the car. But that's mainly just an excuse. But I'm going to sit here for a little while. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and um, go home. That legit took like two seconds. What an amazing development we've made in technology, guys. COVID was awful, but it did bring us some developments, I guess, because I'm never going into a store ever again. So I just got home. Well, I didn't just get home. I got home a little while ago, but I was on the phone for a little. I'm heating up my pasta and it is thunderstorming, which I love. This is our, well, probably not our first thunderstorm, but first one that I'm actually awake for. I love it. I love thunderstorms, but hold on. This door is just like, takes all the power of my body to close. <sighs> I love thunderstorms when I'm awake, but when you wake up in the middle of the night with a thunderstorm, that's scary. I'm gonna eat this pasta, and then I'm gonna edit. I have some laundry to do, and that's probably it. I have a few things to film, but honestly, I don't think I can really do it tonight. Some leftover pasta. I'll probably just sit here and watch some TikToks because Jesse's not home yet. He's probably gonna be working really late tonight because it was super hot today. So whenever it gets really hot, he has to work late because people turn on their AC and it doesn't work and whatever. So I'm gonna eat some dinner, watch TikToks, and then I'll update you. something meaningful say something i don't know i wanna know you better the way that you talk to me the way that you make me okay sorry if the dryer is super loud but first of all i got this macbook and it's a macbook pro 13 inch like, I got all the highest memory and stuff you could possibly get on this thing because if I'm going to be editing, it's just, like, if you're buying a computer and you're making a YouTube channel, don't buy a MacBook, don't buy a MacBook Air, just, if you can, just get the Pro because I've gone through two MacBooks and it, I just know if I got a Pro, they would have lasted longer. Like, I literally don't know a thing about computers. I only got a 13 inch because I do bring my laptop to work sometimes, especially if I'm going to closings, just so I can do some work while I'm at the closing. Then I got this adapter. Of course, Apple has to change everything and make it so the adapters or the like ports are no longer anything the same. So I got an adapter for my external hard drive and then from amazon i got a what the hell is this oh i got a external hard drive which hopefully this is a terabyte i was supposed to oh it's two terabytes good and then i got a, another memory card reader because this you can get the usb but there's no memory card reader on the new macbooks and I guess that's how Apple gets you. So I have to get a memory card reader. 
And I think that I ordered another memory card last night as well because I only have one memory card. I definitely used to have two. But what happened to that other one is, you know, a mystery. But those are all my goodies. I'm not even going to bother setting this up right now because I have to go edit the rest of that video and this will probably take me a full night. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna go edit. It looks like the thunderstorm is over, which is kind of sad. I would love a nice evening long thunderstorm, but we didn't get that. All right, so I picked out an outfit. I'm just wearing some wrap dress I have because it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. I thought it was gonna cool down after the storm, but it didn't, so. Easier for me, because I'm just gonna wear a dress. I have a closing, I think I said this earlier, in Manhattan tomorrow. But I set up my computer. Apple makes it so easy, and that's why people who like, I'm not judging you, but people who love PC, that's great. But Apple makes it so easy to set up new products. Like you just can download everything you had, and I'm sure there's a PC way to do that too, but it's so much easier. I just need to transfer my documents and stuff from my old MacBook. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with that because it's not a bad computer inherently. You just can't really do anything on it other than surf the web. I just definitely needed something better to edit on and that. And this is so much, I mean, it's not that light because it still is a computer, but the air is so light. But this isn't heavy, and it's a lot smaller than my MacBook. It is, what time? 8.20, and if there weren't clouds from the storm, the sun would still be completely out, which is so great. But I guess I'm going to clean up my little mess from opening my computer and then take a shower. I don't really know what to do with myself since Jesse's not home. I want to put you in that spotlight. At you all night, put you in that spotlight. Oh, you make me feel fine. Wanna look at you all night, put you in that spotlight. Oh, you know. Till my lungs give out your beautiful This is my outfit of the day. Don't judge the shoes. I know they absolutely don't go, but I don't want to wear heels. And again, slim pickings. Love it. I just wore a tank top under because I feel like wrap dresses, like they're never tight enough up here. So I just feel better with a tank top under it. And don't judge the shoes. I want to hear nothing about them. <laughs> Stop. That's so bad. I don't think I can wear these. I don't think with, with a good conscience, I can leave the house with these shoes on. Because these heels are like completely destroyed in the back because they got stuck in the sidewalk. So I'm going to have to wear black shoes, which is almost even worse. Okay, so that's like really not any better, but you know what? It's not worse. Yeah, we'll just have to rock with the ugly shoes today. I'm going to order Dunkin' though because I don't have any iced coffee here and I just haven't had it in a while. All right, so I'm just going to head out. I have my closing today my closing. I have a closing today in Manhattan at 
2.30, so we have balloons that are like moving. So I'll probably talk to you guys around then. Till my lungs give out your beautiful I just got home. I sat in the car for two hours on the way home from the city. It took me some ass backwards way out of the city and that was annoying. Literally, it took me two hours. I got out of the closing at 3.30 and I got home at 5.30. But I just logged onto my computer to make sure I didn't have an outlandish amount of emails, which I did, so I'm glad I went on and looked. And now I'm just sitting here having a glass of wine. I had a bagel on my way home. I just stopped at this random bagel place. But I've had close to no water today. So I'm gonna have some water. I wanna put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night, all night. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful All right, so I just cleaned up the kitchen a little because there was like dishes and just stuff from yesterday and whatever. Chelsea and James are coming over. Jesse's actually home from work, which he hasn't been home from work at a normal hour in a very, very long time because he's been so busy since it's been hot. But also I haven't been home from work this early. I mean, I don't get home until around seven usually. So the fact that it's six o'clock and I'm home is so wonderful. <laughs> and I don't have off tomorrow. So it's like, I really don't love it, you know? Chelsea left just getting ready for the night I feel like this white shirt is really not doing me justice right now but I also do look kind of ugly so that could, be, that could really be most of the problem what it's a you know that TikTok sound <laughs> oh what it's a it's nice to you know hang out with friends and whatever but if I don't go to bed by 10 o'clock, I'm a monster. Like if I'm not showered at least by nine o'clock, I turn into like a weirdo, like an anxious person. So it's already after nine, I really need to hurry this up. <laughs> but I took a shower, oh, I took a shower, but I clearly washed my hair, did the whole body routine, shaved, moisturized, like I'm ready for another day. But it always feels so good to get out of the shower. When you like do your whole routine, you really feel like a brand new bitch. Cause I'm breaking out, um, which is like really good. Love that. I, oh, the camera's all fogged up. I'm using my Tula spot treatment. I still love this, but I only use it when I'm breaking out cause it is a spot treatment. I just happen to be breaking out everywhere, but this is the Tula go away acne spot treatment with probiotics. Sorry, I had to clean you off, it was all foggy. Um, stop, this shirt looks so bad. I have been loving this Olaplex bonding oil, number seven. It helps so much if you have tangly, dry hair like myself, because my hair, when I get out of the shower, is just 
always so naughty, even if it's not naughty when I go in. And this really just helps keep it moisturized. But sometimes I won't even bother brushing the whole thing out at night. I'll just go to sleep with it completely a mess because it's honestly just easier to brush when it's a little bit more dry than this. This is like a little too wet to be trying to brush. But when I go to sleep with my hair wet like this in the morning, it looks all crazy. So I always have to, well I don't always because I honestly don't do my hair every day, but I have to set aside some time in the morning to deal with that. I just realized I like didn't show any of the skincare I just used, but I use Curology. My little tripod of skincare products just fell over. I use Curology as my base layer, and then I use Curology, then the cream, then the hyaluronic acid serum, and then I do a spot treatment. Are you supposed to use all those at once? Beats me, honestly, but it's fine with my skin. So I don't know, I would give her a test run before you pile all those products on. But I'm gonna go to bed because it's like 9.30 and it's time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the link below if you wanna try ThreadUp. And I will see you guys in the next one.